Hey guys, Shogun here. In this video, we're going to show you how to make this bloodstream background effect inside of Premiere Pro, which is very useful if you're making a medical documentary or making a news item about the current coronavirus. So first, let's start. So the first thing we need is a uh, background. So we need a black video for this. We click new item, choose black video, press OK, and then drag this onto our timeline here. We're just going to directly grab a lot of effects that we need so the first one that we need is cell pattern which we're gonna generate a kind of particle effect with it and the other one we need is tint put tint in there and the last one we need is lumetri color put on there so now what we got is this so this is a very funky looking uh, kind of disgusting thing so let's start changing the parameters of this so the contrast at cell pattern we're going to change to 5000 the disperse we're going to make it 1.5 and we're going to change the size to 500 so now we have these big dots and we can change the color so we can actually change the background here from the black to a red and we can choose like a pretty dark red and then we can change the white dots to a slightly lighter red however personally I don't feel like it looks good this way and personally I prefer more like that the dots be a darker red than the background so for me this looks more natural and now we're going to change the at Lumetri we're going to change the vignetting so the amount all the way down and then change the midpoint a little bit so we have this look going on so it already have the look of it so now we're going to animate the effect so we have those moving particles because right now when we scroll everything is just standing still and not moving so now we go to the cell pattern. The first thing we are going to click is at the stopwatch at evolution and also at the stopwatch of offset. So these two we drag to the front of the clip. And now we can change the evolution to to, oh, to uh, 2x. And this one, it depends on which direction you want it to go. So now we have these moving particles. So if you find it's moving too much, we can also go instead of 2x to make it 1x. So one evolution. So it moves a little bit slower. Like that. And now this, it depends on which direction you want the blood to go through because right now they're just moving all about so keeping it the same as our preview we're going to move it from right to left so now this one we change to zero and hit enter so now when we play this we have these going from right to left and we can see it's like moving about so we have this particle effect so now we have basically only dots that are single size so we're going to hold down alt Drag this clip up and we're going to change the cell pattern uh, on this clip to the size of it to 250. So now we have these smaller dots and we go to our opacity here and we're going to alter the blend mode. We're going to choose darken. So now we have basically two layers of dots moving we have like the bigger dots and the smaller dots hope you guys learned something from this tutorial if there's any questions or suggestions make sure to comment below and if you want to see more tutorials like this make sure to hit that subscribe button here below see you guys tomorrow and uh, love you all cd out